Before being able to draw inequalities on a number line, we first must understand some of the notation that is used. For example, you can often see this symbol here. So this means greater than. So, for example, you could say 9 is greater than 7. Okay, that makes sense. You'll notice the sort of open side, this side, is next to the bigger number. So 9 is greater than 7. One that's very similar to this is this symbol. It looks very similar, but notice the little line underneath. This means greater than or equal to. So greater than or equal to. So for example, you could have 10 like that. Notice the little line isn't there. So this inequality doesn't make sense because you're saying 10 is greater than 10. But as soon as I introduce this line, it says 10 is greater than or equal to 10, which does make sense. It satisfies the inequality. Similarly, you can have less than. That would be this symbol. So it's exactly the same, just the other way around. So, for example, you could say 5 is less than 6. And again, you can have less than or equal to. So that's just that symbol with the line underneath again. So that's less than or equal to. So, for example, you could say 7 is less than 7. At first, that doesn't make any sense because, of course, 7 is the same value as 7. But as soon as I introduce this little line, 7 is less than or equal to 7. So now it is true um, for all of these cases. We call the less than or equal to or the greater than or equal to symbols inclusive inequalities. And then the other two, the greater than or less than, the strict inequalities. What this means is because, for example, x is less than or equal to 8 includes the value 8. Whereas x is less than 8 does not include the value 8. So to represent an inequality on a number line, first we must have an example of an inequality. So if we had x is greater than or equal to minus 5, the first thing we want to do is find minus 5 on the number line. So that would be here. Then I'm going to draw a circle above that and then decide which direction it's going in. So we want the numbers. It says x is greater than or equal to minus 5. So we want the numbers that are bigger than minus 5. So that's in this direction towards the positive numbers. Because also it can be equal to, I'm going to fill in the circle. So if I didn't fill in the circle, I would have drawn the inequality x is greater than minus 5. But because we want equal to, I have to have the circle filled in. Okay. So remember, if it's a closed circle, as in the middle is filled in, that is an inclusive inequality, such as greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Whereas an open circle is a strict inequality. So what that means, again, you could have x is less than 2 or x is greater than 2 or something along those lines. A second type of inequality is where we have a bound at either end. So, for example, we could have this. This reads as minus 3 is less than or equal to x and x is less than 5. Or you could say x is greater than or equal to minus 3 but less than 5. Something along those lines. So this would include the values of minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Not including 5 because notice there's not the little line underneath this whereas there is here so that we do include minus 3. So, drawing this on the number line, first we want to draw two circles, one at minus 3, one at 5. So, one circle there, one circle there. And because we want the numbers in between these values, we're going to connect them with a straight line. And then, just double check whether we should have closed circles, as in filled, filled in, or open circles, so just the outline. So, notice the minus 3 is less than or equal to x, has the little line because it's less than or equal to. So this one should be filled in. It should be a closed circle. Whereas the other one doesn't have the little line underneath, so it can't be equal to 5. So it should be an open circle, as in a strict inequality.
If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam for inequalities on a number line on our learning platform. Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you did, both in written solution and video solution format, so that you can have someone talk you through it if you're still not sure what you should have done for the problem.